Here's the 3-2, and that's hit back up the middle, a base hit, and that is going to get to the gap. And with the runners going, they might get both home. They're sending Renda. Here's the throw to the plate. It's not in time, and the Bears get two. That right there is the importance of going from 0-2 to 3-2. The base runners have a head start, and that right there is a ball that's hit in the gap, but it didn't go very deep. But because Renda was running on that play, he was able to score from first base. Christ with RBIs 34 and 35, and none bigger than those two right there. The two-run double for Chad Christ. And you see the ball get here in between the outfielders, and the ball's not hit that deep. He gets it in quickly, but because the, run the runners were moving on the pitch, Renda is able to score from first easily. And that is going to be it for A.J. Venega. He will depart the ball game. And the Bears are fired up. They still have to get three more outs. Venega not happy about that. And the Bears take a 4-2 advantage. We're going to return to the farm in Stanford for the conclusion of the top of the 12th right after this. Mask and back to the screen, and now the Cardinal are down to their final strike here on Friday. Four hours and ten minutes of baseball. And the one two hit deep to left field, and that ball is gone. Oh, no foul. Oh, my Fair goodness. Fair ball. Oh, my goodness. Cal is saying it's a foul ball. Stanford says it's a fair ball. They and think they've won it. are getting together right here. I think they're going to overrule it. And they, in fact, have overruled it. And Stanford is going to have to continue on with this game. Oh, uh, it looked to me as if it was going to get out. It looked to the umpires, at least one of them, that it was a fair ball and a walk-off shot. We're going to take a look again. And that's a foul ball by Absolutely. a foot. Absolutely. They got it right. <laughs> Would you expect anything else? It was good at least to see the umpires get together and get this right. Ball was clearly foul. One of the other umpires definitely had a better look at it. <laughs> High drama. And Doran's going to get another chance on one and two. I clearly thought he got all of it, that it was going to get out of here. Tell me what, every, people are hitting the balls down the left field line and they just can't keep them fair. Yeah. I mean, it's as deceiving a left field as I think I've ever seen. So let's reset everybody. Rogira at third, Wilson to second, Landino back to first. And Doran, after the foul ball, is going to get another opportunity. Now they're checking his helmet down there. I think it, I think it might have hit the dirt a little bit hard after the celebration, thinking that it was a walk-off. Yep. Stanford was celebrating the victory, but as we looked at the replay, clearly a foot foul. can say this, it's definitely been an exciting 12th inning. <laughs> well, our home plate umpire was the guy who, who signaled fair ball. And he was overruled by the other two. And they, they got it right. Yes, they did. I mean, clearly it was uh, Tim Vesey who's taken the left side of the infield who had a good shot and he saw the dirt kick up there and saw that it was foul. 
Let's look at it one more time. See that ball cross on the other side of the foul play. Yep. Picks up good foot, foot foul right there. So they got it right. Winds up being just a long strike. One and two. We're reset. And Doran hits a little number. That's going to be a tough play. There's nobody there, and we're tied at four. Now comes the runner to the plate, and he is out. And we are going 13. And being ejected right there is Austin Wilson as well. And we got to go 13 innings tonight. That little number with nobody there on the right side of the Cal infield. The Cal infield has killed themselves the whole entire game. Wilson is thrown out at the plate. And we have even more bonus baseball. Bagheera scoring run number four in the throw home easily gets Wilson. He's not happy. He gets thrown out in the 13th we go. And that is hit to left, and that's a base hit. Finds a safe landing spot there in front of the left fielder, Stephen Piscotti. And Ruva Camp is on. He's got the 14th hit of the night for the Cal Bears. Back to Danny O, who's had a particularly good night for the Bears. Oh, is four for five, four singles, couple of walks, and a stolen base. They're going to try yet another sacrifice bunt. One and oh. McCardle still working here in relief. Still the fourth Stanford pitcher of the ball game. Stanford may wind up using more catchers in the game than they do pitchers. <laughs> There's the 1 0. He's showing bunt, and he gets it down to the pitcher. The throw to first is in time. Another sacrifice bunt. They got to have the record for sack bunts tonight. I would think so. Well executed sacks, too. Yep. I, I can't remember anyone not getting it down here tonight. They just need to execute the second part of it, which yep. is get them over and then get them in. Neither team has been able to do that. So here is Ruvacamp at second with Bruno at the plate. Ruvacamp representing the go-ahead run out there at second. And the pitch home, and that's down low. Griffiths with a nice block, keeping that from advancing Ruvacamp to third. Again, he's the fourth Cal catcher, make it fourth Stanford catcher. Here's the 1 0, and that is hit to the shortstop to Kroger. And Kenny DeKroger makes the grab and chases Ruvacamp with a head first slide back into second. It's a good job of base running by Ruvacamp right there. Being able to read that soft liner. Could have easily gotten doubled off trying to think he could score on that. Hey, we already have a, uh, a in-game box score here. I love it. Just hand that to us. A couple of innings ago. Oh, where have we I should, been? We should be getting another one soon. <laughs> That's down low. I'll have to special request one. Renda, tough night for the preseason All-American. Been on base once. Ninth plate appearance for Renda. And Renda looks at it low. 2-0. Delfino out on deck. <laughs> and that's a strike, two and one. Pitch. 
That is pounded into the ground. Schinberger right there. And that can't feel too good on this chilly night. Killing worms. See Renda with the foul ball. Ooh. Right back off the you. foot. That's got to hurt. Would hurt even more back in the old days when the trainer would come out with the cold spray. Huh? <laughs> that might have even been before your playing days. I remember that. That was not. That was early in yeah. my minor league career. Whoever's running that business, they're out of business. I don't see that at all anymore. That's outside. Full three and two with two outs. Ruva Camp at second, representing the go-ahead run here in the 18th. Here's the 3-2, and that's hit up the middle of base hit. Rounding third, Ruvacamp, they'll send him. Here's the throw, it is not in time, and Cal takes a 5-4 lead here in the 18th. On the RBI single off the bat of Renda.